Hey everybody, welcome back to Hacker Doodle's channel and today I have a flipbook share. Uh, I created this book for one of my good friends. Um, she had sent me really, really beautiful flipbooks and she's been making a whole bunch of creative things and I decided I need to send her one back and I know she loves the beach so I decided to create this style for her. Many of you guys know that my flipbooks are not the typical type of flipbooks where you have like pen pal letters and different things like that. I do put those in there, but I like to focus on making it more interactive. I've been watching a lot of tutorials. I love pop-up books as a child and creating these little storybooks are just really, really fun outlet for me um, when I have the time. So it does take me a quite a few days to do and if I could just sit there, but when, I, when you have a child, it's just not easy to get there and I, my thoughts keep going in different directions. So I keep a little notebook with me at all times and when I think of something, I just jot it down. Because so right now I have like a few flip books and the pocket letters I have to create. And right now my table's a mess of all the stuff. So I've been trying to write notes everywhere on what papers I'm gonna be using and stickers and blah, blah, blah. But it's it really hard. I know I should just focus on one thing at a time, but I see things and then I know I have to use them. So it's really hard when you have a mind like me where you're just like, oh, I need to do this and then you just don't have a chance. <laughs> but anyway, um, my focus on this one was uh, inspired by this Michael sticker book by um, the Quad Explorer sticker book. That was $1.49. Um, I picked this up mm, a couple months ago. Um, I was even thinking to go back. I've been looking just to see if they have any more of it, but of course it was just a seasonal type thing. I think nowadays they have more of dinosaurs. That's what I've been finding. I haven't seen this particular sticker book anymore. But I've been using this a lot. This is my the use of the stickers I used in my book. So they look like this. Sorry, we'll start right here so you do kind of get an idea what stickers I was using. Um, like so. So this is my inspiration. And this is how I started my little sticker book. Started off as a beach scene. It's called a summer ocean adventure. And then I put here, of course, my uh, name. I did a lot of fussy cutting. I would put my stickers on um, some cardstock, and I would just fussy cut them. And a lot of the stickers are like you know from um, Target. I would take them out and I fussy cut those. Some of these other stickers are from the Mombi ones from Michaels and some what. So I, I did this part of the foot like this. And it's a six by six style book. I believe it's six by six. Actually, it's a little bit bigger. I think it's a seven by six and three fourths. I'm a little confused. I kept measuring every time I did it, but I would always forget. So the next page comes out like this. And I wanted to use this uh, swizzle stick once again. I do apologize. Like I said, it's kind of dark in here and I keep losing the lighting on this area. And I have to be in this room because my son's asleep. I don't want him to hear me speaking. So I just added these stickers in here. I have a whole bunch of like 3D type stickers. It says here, I'm not sure if you can see it out to sea. So um, here's our little guy here, the sailor. He's saying, um, basically he's saying boy boy yage. I put some um, Project Life card type things in here. And I held it by one of those Dollar Tree star stick, uh, paper clips. So this is used as like a pocket. And then I added more of these stickers. This is a mixture of the Dollar Tree stickers. They're not all from that sticker book because I was looking for a couple of other things and I keep finding other stuff. So this is a slider uh, card um, interactive part. And I have this girl, um, I fussy cutted her. I put a penny, it's a penny slider again. And I have her moving side to side like she's going out to sea like that. So that's her part. Here I have, uh, I put this paper clip to indicate there is some more goodies in here, which I'll have, probably have a hard time trying to take out. Let me see. Let's see without having to destroy anything. So yeah, I just put some of these little stickers and um, these little stuff from there. Hopefully she won't have a hard time removing it. <laughs> so that's why I kind of put it there. I have a cutter. A paper cutter that has different of uh, edges and you could just stick it in there and change them so I, this is the only wave style I had I didn't have anything wider I wish I had more so I just did a whole cut that went all the way through and then the next page is just a whole bunch of different things this is the under the sea uh, design um, I found the treasure chest I really wanted the treasure chest so I could create like a book style um, like a pocket and when you open the little thing there's a shaker card in it so i made a little shaker on here and it has a whole bunch of jewels to make it appear like jewels and i have some other things i think it has some skulls in there swords and stuff to make it look like it was a pirate ship 
that was here. And then I have a sticker here. Um, I actually velcroed it to I actually velcroed it together. So this is her her initial for her name. It could go it could work as treasure chest too, but she can use it. I didn't stick it on here. She can just take it off and use it for whatever she wants to for her. And that was her treasure. And I just put a little shaker here. And I just created like a little style pocket there. In here are some other goodies. I don't know if I put some more starfishes and some other type of stuff in there. Maybe paper clips or whatever. I'm not sure. Yeah, so you just kind of stick it through the little pocket I created. Um, this I got this from a clip art. I just found it online. I, I, I All the stuff I use here when I print, I just kind of... I find online, I don't buy any of them. Sometimes I just find them and I just print them and then create any way I can. When I did it, I um, it was originally one piece, but I made sure when I cut it, when I cut them, I put it, make sure I had a lot of space left so that I can cut it and I just scored all the edges. Um, here I even bent, I scored it so that it'll look like an accordion style and just even cutting the sides just to create that 3D effect. So we put that in there. And on here, I just put a sunken ship. I thought it was really, really cute. Just printed a, uh, a, a ship or like, it's like a tugboat basically, but I created it so it looked like it went through and there is a little fastener there, a little brad. And now you just turn it and it's more stuff here. I just put a whole bunch of fish and more stickers and a wood veneer type of uh, cut of a whale. This is an exciting adventure awaits you. And then I know you can't really see it. I kind of made it too big, but I didn't feel like fixing it. It just says this way. It's just a little arrow. Um, and then I just fussy cut some of these stickers, added some foam tape and such so that it sticks out. And if you make sure to make sure I made sure that I scored it. So I have a little bit of, um, you know, it will have some space and it won't be too bulky. And then the last thing. So the adventure awaits you. And the last page is just an explosion of the land of the mermaids and it's just a whole bunch of mermaids and stickers from the dollar tree that i wanted to use so at the end of her adventure because that little the girl who was from here i'm assuming i just using her in the boat she jumps off and scuba dives and she's in this little underwater made it purple to keep it looking like it's dark and then when she goes to the bottom although she's not here there's another scuba diver guy is out here and seeing the mermaids and different fishes and all sorts of little things. So that's it for her flip book. Um, I'm sending her a whole bunch of goodies, but there's a lot of things in here. And then of course I wrote her a little note for her just so that she knows. And it's added some, I just add some stickers from the Dollar Tree. I really enjoy using the Dollar Tree stickers. There's been a lot of like seed life kind of stuff that I've been collecting and I'm just very happy to finally use them. So anyway, that's it for this flip book. Keep in mind I have more uh, flip book shares and pocket letters I'll probably be sharing. I try not to um, post pocket letter ones. I'm not sure why. I like to do the flip books because they're a little bit more interactive, but lately my pocket letters have been very interactive as it is too. So anyway, that's it for this video. I hope you enjoy it.